so today we will learn about absolute value of a number so absolute value of a number is a given number x is denoted by mod x and this is equal to x if x is greater than equal to 0 and minus x if x is less than 0 okay so so if we are given mod of 3 or absolute value of 3 is 3 because 3 is greater than equal to 0 absolute value of minus 8 is equal to minus of minus 8 which is 8 and as this minus sign comes because this minus 8 is less than 0 okay so now if we are asked that okay what does x minus y mean where x and y are both real numbers so x and minus y means the distance between x and y okay so this is equal to distance between the numbers x and y okay so if we have let's say something like on a number line real number line we have 2 and 5 so mod of x minus y where let's say x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 2 so mod of x minus y is mod 5 minus 2 which is 3 mod 3 and is equal to 3 so this tells that okay the distance between 2 and 5 is 3 okay if we are asked that okay uh, let's say we have find the distance between minus 5 and 4 okay so how much is the distance between them so that is the distance in units is so this is 4 and this is 5 okay so total is 9 so this length of this is 9 units okay so what we do so this is 4 minus minus 5 so this is 4 plus 5 which is 9 okay so this is the absolute value uh, x minus y means the distance between number x and number y so now what does mod x mean so it means the distance between x and 0 okay so that is the distance and distance you don't say that it's negative or positive because it's just an absolute value so distance of let's say plus 3 from 0 is same as distance of minus 3 from 0 and that's why we say that mod of 3 and mod of minus 3 both are equal to 3 okay so this just telling the distance so let's see so next what we see is so we write that okay square root of a number x square we can write it as mod x because for square root we take non-negative square root and then it we say that okay this square root of x square is mod x okay so we can only write that okay mod of root of a square is equal to a if and only if we already know that okay a is greater than equal to 0 okay so why because let's say that okay root of 9 so this can be what it can be plus 3 or minus 3 both why because we can have 3 square is also 9 and minus of 3 square is also 9 okay but to make it a function this fx is equal to root x square if we want it to be a mapping to just one value so it should be mod of x okay so now let's see some of the properties of absolute value so what are these properties so let's see so mod of minus a is equal to mod of a because we know so the distance let's say this is the, so distance of a if this is a and let's say a is positive so minus of a will be something here and both of them are equidistant from 0 so that's why mod of absolute value of both of them will be equal 
mod of a b is equal to mod a mod b this is the second property and then you have mod of a by b is equal to mod a by mod of b okay so here i had written so this is mod a into mod b okay so similarly i can also write mod a by b is equal to mod a by mod b okay and the next one is this is also interesting mod a plus b okay so this is less than equal to mod a plus mod b so what it says that okay if we sum two numbers and take their mod so this will always be less than equal to sum of the absolute values of two numbers separately this looks good also why because if b or a some one of them is negative okay so what will happen they will the sum will in fact be lesser so for example a is equal to minus 3 b is equal to 7 so a plus b is 4 okay so in fact we see that okay this is 4 but so this is mod of a plus b so this is 4 but if we take them separately so this is mod of a is 3 and mod of b is 7 so now mod a plus mod b is becoming 10 so we see that okay it's increasing okay so this one becomes like this will be true and this will be equal when will this be equal when a and b both have have same sign okay so let's see if a is equal to 3 b is equal to 7 then what will happen so mod of a plus b is 10 and mod a plus mod b is mod 3 plus mod 7 which is 10 so both are equal if a is minus 3 b is minus 7 so mod a plus b is how much it's minus 3 minus 7 so this is equal to minus 10 mod it is 10 and here we see mod a plus mod of b is mod of minus 3 plus mod of minus 7 which is 10 okay so we see that if the signs are same for a and b then mod a plus b is equal to mod a plus mod b but if a and b have different sign then it will be lesser okay so we see this property so now we have seen a lot of properties let's try some inequalities properties as well so if a is a positive number okay if a is positive number okay then what can happen if mod x is equal to a what will it mean it implies that if and only if x is equal to a or x is equal to minus a then only mod of x can be a okay next property if mod of x is less than a it means what the distance of the number x is less than a from the origin so if we draw this figure so this is a and distance on the negative and positive both sides from 0 so we say that okay if mod x is less than a so x will be somewhere in this region in so x is greater than minus a but it is less than a okay then this will hold next is mod x is greater than a so when will this hold it means the distance of x from 0 is greater than a so it means here 0 a minus a so this side okay this side or this side so it is x is greater than minus a or so x is less than minus a 
for x is greater than a okay in that case that will be true so next case so equality is also you can handle like that so let's try to solve one or two questions interesting questions that will make you happy okay so one simple question so mod of y minus 3 is equal to 7 okay so this is a simple question let's get started so mod y minus 3 is 7 so it means what now let's expand based on the definition so it is equal to so y minus 3 so mod of y minus 3 is equal to y minus 3 if y minus 3 is greater than equal to 0 implying y is greater than equal to 3 and this is equal to minus of y minus 3 if y minus 3 is less than 0 or y is less than 3 okay so now we have two different cases to handle because this function itself has two different values for different parts of the number line so we find that for 3 so right of 3 so this part it is something different it is y minus 3 and on this part it's minus y minus 3 okay so we now see so we solve for positive part this will become y minus 3 is equal to 7 so y is equal to 10 and now we see we this part is true when y is greater than or equal to 3 so v and 10 is greater than 3 so we get one solution here and on this side minus y plus 3 is equal to 7 so y is equal to minus 4 and again so it is less than 3 so these are the two solutions okay so we have two solutions y is equal to minus 4 comma 10 and if you try to put this there so for 10 so 10 minus 3 is 7 so mod of 7 is 7 and minus 4 so minus 4 minus 3 mod is equal to minus 7 mod is equal to 7 so we see that this is true 